Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you this makeup look right here. This is the look that I have been going to recently like hardcore. If you follow me on Snapchat, I wore this like four days in a row and it's very similar to looks that I've done in the past, but I'm using completely different products, completely different brushes, and I'm doing things a little bit differently. I am so obsessed with it. It's nothing like out of the box or anything, but it has been my like go-to makeup look that I've just been going to recently. This video is sponsored by Vanity Planet, so thank you so much Vanity Planet for sponsoring me and collaborating with me on this video. I am using the brushes from the Palette One Professional Makeup brush set from Vanity Planet. They did send this to me about three weeks ago and I agreed to do a sponsored video with them if I liked the brushes and I am very very picky on brushes if you watch my channel. I use the same ones all the time. As usual with sponsored videos, I only feature products that I do care about and love and would use whether or not it was a sponsored video or not. So with that being said, they are offering you guys a discount code. If you use the code BRIEFOX, you will get 70% off of your brush set. I read that and I was like, are you kidding me? So the brush set is worth $100, but with the Brie Fox discount, discount code, you will get it for 30 bucks. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you each brush used. Um, the only brush, where is it at? The only brush I didn't use in action today is the lip brush, just because I don't use lip brushes too often. I do use them in my professional makeup brush kit, but not on myself. But every other brush in this set I have used on my face today. And if you wanna see exactly how I achieved this look, then let's get started. So I already filled in my eyebrows with the Anastasia Brow Wiz, and now I'm just going in with the brow gel just to set them in place. This has actually been a favorite of mine recently. I used to never set my eyebrows, but I've noticed a huge difference ever since using this stuff. You don't actually have to use the Anastasia one. I'm sure other brow gels are just as fine, but this is just what I've been using. I'm going to carve out the brow just on the bottom, not on the top. I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, which I will go into in a, another video, but this is thebomb.com. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I did use this flat brush, and this came in the palette brush set. And then I'm going to prime with the Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. And don't mind my nails, I bit all of them off from stress and then there's a couple pieces of nail polish left on there because I ran out of nail polish remover. So just don't even look at that. I'm using these two lightest shades and mixing them together with this flat brush from the palette set. And I'm just gonna set the eye. I love giving myself just like a very nude base before going in with any other eyeshadows. It just helps the blending process. So I've been using this palette a ton. This is the Tartlet palette from Tarte, obviously. I'm first gonna go in with the shade Force of Nature. It's this light brown shade here. And then I'm gonna layer it with Wanderer. And I'm using this fluffy brush from the palette set. I'm just buffing this all over the eye area, starting with the outer corner and working into the crease. I'm holding really far back on my brush just so that it doesn't apply too harshly because this is a little bit more precise than what I would usually use for a step like this, but you can use it for multiple things. So I'm just showing you that if you have a brush that is more precise like the one that I'm using, you can definitely use it for more things than just a precise crease or something like that. So pull back on your brush and you can apply these shades in a more diffused and blown out way. Next, I'm going into the Becca and Jaclyn Hill face palette and I'm going to use Champagne Pop and I'm gonna use that to highlight my brow bone. I'm using this itty bitty teeny tiny brush that comes inside of this brush set and I'm using that to highlight my brow bone. And now for the lid, I'm gonna use this brush from the set and I'm going back into that face palette and I'm gonna take Prosecco Pop from Jaclyn Hill and Becca and I'm gonna put that on the lid of my eye, mainly on the inner corner of the lid, leaving the center area blank. Next, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Grandstand from Makeup Geek on that same brush and put that right on the center of the lid and also overlap that Prosecco Pop shade just a little bit. And then I'm going in with the Rainforest of the Sea eyeshadow palette from Tarte. And I'm going to take this dark, really brown, wait, is it that one? 
no, this one. I'm gonna take this brown bronzy shade from the palette and put that right on the outer corner of the eye using the exact same brush I've been using for the whole lid area. I'm gonna go back in with that fluffy brush and just buff out all of this here. So I don't have any like stopping points or anything at all. It should just kind of like blend together. I'm gonna use this fan brush from the brush set just to clean up all of the fallout underneath the eye area. I find that brushes like this are really good for this kind of thing. I personally, I'm not a fan of using, not a fan, not a fan of using fan brushes as highlight brushes. That's just me. I love fan brushes for dusting away anything underneath the eye. For my face recently, I've been loving this primer from Amazing Cosmetics. It is the anti-aging face primer. So I'm going to prime my face with that. And for my foundation, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the color Nude. I'm using one of the brushes from the palette brush set from Vanity Planet. I'm using this flat top kabuki one. The brush hairs on this brush are actually longer than brushes that I'm used to. So what that pretty much means is that it's going to give you a little bit lighter of a coverage. Now you can definitely control this. You can see here that when I want a fuller coverage, I will back down on the ferrule and get closer up to the brushes and that will give you more pigmentation and a fuller coverage with your foundation. So you can really customize your foundation coverage with this brush. So if you prefer a lighter coverage, just stay towards the middle or towards the end of your brush. For concealer, I'm going back into the Born This Way concealer from Too Faced in the color Light. And to blend it out, I'm first going in with this flat foundation brush from the set. And then I'm gonna go back into that uh, more like kabuki foundation brush just to help blend it out. The flat foundation brush is going to basically set it in the place that I want and give me the fullest coverage that way. And then the bigger brush is just gonna help blend it out and diffuse it so it's not like super, super pigmented on the edges. And now this step is a little bit new for my channel. I haven't really been doing this before, but I've been doing this like every time I do my makeup lately. I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm gonna set my entire face, including my under eye area, cheeks, everything, and I don't really go in with an extra powder for the under eye area like I usually do. Um, lately, I've just been using this as a one-stop shop because I'm lazy and I feel like doing it quick. So I'm using this really short brush from the set to do this step. I like it because it just gets the job done. That's, I don't know, that's what I've been going for lately. For bronzer lately, I've been using the Sun Bunny bronzer from Too Faced and I'm applying this with this brush from the palette set. I'm going to use the Dark Chocolate Soleil bronzer from Too Faced to contour my face, and I'm using this angled brush from the palette set to apply this product. I'm also gonna use the same exact brush to do my blush with. I'm using this really small brush from the palette to do my nose contour. I will compare it next to the fluffier version of it so you can see the size difference, but it was seriously, it has been like my go-to nose contouring brush as of late. Okay, for my blush, I'm first gonna take Amaretto from the face palette, and I'm using that same angled brush that we used for contouring. And then right over top of the Amaretto shade, I'm gonna take Rose Spritz just to give a little shimmer. If you don't have the face palette, a good alternative for this little combo that I just did is Margin Blush from MAC. It is very, very, very similar. And now to highlight, I'm first gonna take Prosecco Pop with that angled brush just on the tip of it, and I'm going to highlight my face and give it more of that bronzy, more of that warmer bronze look. And then more precisely in the highlight areas, I'm gonna take Champagne Pop in those areas with that brush, and then use my finger for the Cupid's bow and the nose highlight. For my under eye area, I'm gonna take Multitasker, this top like deep chocolate shade, and I'm using this angled brush from the brush set just to apply that really close on the bottom lash line. Then I'm gonna take that little itty bitty baby buffer brush and I'm gonna take Force of Nature and I'm really gonna buff that bottom lash line out. And then in the waterline, I'm gonna take Costa Riche eyeliner from MAC and really work that into the waterline and also smudge it on the bottom lash line as well. Now before that dries on the bottom lash line, I'm gonna take the most defined brush and smallest brush in this palette set and use that to buff that out. Okay, now I'm going to apply my mascara. I'm gonna use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara as usual. And then lastly, to finish up the eyes, I'm applying the It Show Fluffy Lashes from Velour Lashes. These are definitely, hands down, my favorite eyelashes ever. Moving on to the lips, I'm going to apply Bitch Perfect from Charlotte Tilbury. This is my 
favorite lipstick currently. Um, I want to say of all time, but I've only had it for just a couple of weeks, but I've been wearing it nonstop. This is just the perfect nude for me. It's a little bit of peach and it has like a pink undertone at the same time and it's just perfect. I love this lipstick. And then I'm going to be topping that off with the Pink Lady Lip Gloss from Buxom. This is a very like light bubblegum pink and it is just the perfect combo with the lip color. I love it. This brush that does come with a lip brush, this is it here, but I didn't use it today because honestly I don't really use brushes, uh, lip brushes on myself very often. The only time that I find myself using a lip brush on myself is if I'm doing a very, very bright color that needs to be extra, extra, extra precise. Or if I don't use a lip brush, I will use it after, ew, after the fact, just to like clean up the lip area, like the lip line and stuff like that. And then last but not least, I'm gonna set my face with the D-Slick Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray. All right, you guys, that completes everything for this tutorial. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup look and this video and everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and all of your support and everything that you show me on a daily basis. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you so much for all that you do. Um, don't forget that if you want to get the brush set, you can get it for 70% off with the Brie Fox link. Um, or you can pay full price and get it for $100 if you want, whatever. Um, but yeah, if you want to get it for $30 instead of $100, make sure to use the link and the discount code uh, that provided down below. So yeah, I hope that this helped to show you that you can use brushes for so many different things. Um, one thing that I like about these brushes is that they don't have a specific name on them. This doesn't say like concealer brush or shade or blending brush or anything like that because you can use brushes for pretty much whatever you want. Um, that's the beauty in makeup and makeup artistry is that it is an art and you can do whatever you want. You can use a foundation brush for... I don't know anything you can use it for blush if you want really doesn't matter so I really have been loving these brushes the past few weeks and I've been using them constantly so I hope that you guys enjoy the brushes as well thank you guys so much for watching subscribing and liking and I'll see you guys in the next video bye